What's up guys and welcome to another The Beast Plays. Today we are checking out Black Ops 3 on PlayStation 4 by Treyarch. Uh, God damn, if this isn't a great Call of Duty game then I don't know what is. This is one of my favorite Call of Duties I've played in a long time, campaign wise and multiplayer wise. Uh, just to start off, I am playing as the Outrider, ooh, not so pretty start. I'm playing as the Outrider class, uh, or the Specialist as they call them. Uh, and I am running an HV, HVK-30. Uh, I've got a reflex sight on it, as you can see. I believe I have a grip, and I want to say stock on this bad boy. Um, can't really remember what perks I'm running right through. But I'll tell you what, so, oh, you son of a bitch. Stick around at the end of the video for those of you who aren't familiar with Call of Duty and aren't familiar with Black Ops 3. And I'll run through my setup and I'll run through some of the new features they've added. But I figured uh, from the get-go, I'll just jump into the action for those of you who want to see that. As you can see, I do have a perk on that reads uh, footprints. So I can actually track my prey. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just jump right into the, oh, you, you dirty, you dirty bastard. I just wanted to jump right into the action here for those of you who wanted to just get to the good stuff. But, um, yeah, just stick around to the end if you want to check out all the features and things like that. And I'll go, I'll be happy to go over that. Oh, scared me. Uh, I'm still finding my, I'm still finding my grips here. That said, I think I'm, I think I'm coming to, uh, learn the game pretty well. I've got not the KDR I like so far, um, but I'm getting close. I'm at about, oh, Mama Jahamba. I'm at about an eight something, I think eight, eight, six, maybe. Uh, I'm looking at that 1.0 at least, KDR. Um, kill death ratio, of course, for the uninitiated. I don't like to exclude anybody. Um, it's funny, there was a time in my life where I would be like, KDR, what the fuck is this guy talking about? He's, he's a maniac. I wasn't always this big in first person shooters, but I sure do love them now. Um, as I do love all genres, really. I, as you may have noticed, I play all sorts of games here on the Beast and JS YouTube channel and in life in general. Um, I just love video games, man. But anyway, back to this one. This is a fantastic Call of Duty game. Treyarch Returns, uh, taking a lot of good things from previous iterations of the franchise and, of course, bringing in their own flavor. You might recognize this map from uh, the beta. Because I did do some beta gameplay. Now, this map is cool. It's it's fine. It's a, a 7 out of 10. Maybe a 6.5 out of 10 for me. Um, but their map design really is quite tremendous, I have to say. I, I'm really happy with all of the launch maps. Give or take one. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, very, I'm very happy with... Um, I, I could have got out of that, you know. I really could have. I'm not at my best right now. Um, but their map design really is tremendous. I, I gotta say, uh, I'm, I'm thrilled with, with the size of the maps, first off. And, uh, the traversal in this game really brings out the best in the map design. Like, your, your abilities, I, I wasn't crazy about all the Future War stuff, uh, from the beta. But now that I've, I've seen it come to fruition in full form... The wall running is outstanding. It's not as twitchy as it was in Titanfall. Um, it's solid and it's useful. It comes into play when you need it to. It comes into play when there's an alternate route around a map and you want to try and flank an enemy. You can use it there. Uh, when you want, oh, double kill! Got, 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 got that double kill! Get the triple! Get the triple! Nope! Don't you do this to me! Oh, I didn't have my pistol. I have a fucking rocket launcher equipped for some reason. Noob tubing it. Not good. Never good. Never what you want to be doing. Um, but yeah, it, it's so useful. Um, as well as like the grab boots, how you can kind of just like glide up to your next location. It's not like Advanced Warfare. That was my thing. I was like, this feels way too much like Advanced Warfare. Uh, it doesn't. Like you just see right there, if I want to get from A to B, man, it's it's a snap, really. And it's just done so well. Uh, oh, got that double kill again, baby. Who's coming in hot? Who's coming in hot here? Who didn't do their job and let this guy escape? I do my job. You know it. I do it well. Um, you're actually catching me on one of my better my better games. I'm not even gonna front like I always do this good. I don't. I'm having a great game right now. Um 
But yeah, man, traversal we covered. Gunplay, 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 gunplay is outstanding. It feels so good. All the rifles feel significantly different for all types of play styles. Uh, the Vesper is super fast. It's like a bee sting. That's my submachine gun I run. And the HVK just feels like a solid assault rifle. You can feel the impact, you know? You can feel the difference. You can feel the weight, most importantly. Uh, it's nice because if you want to use a light machine gun, you don't have to worry about it being so heavy that it burdens you. Um, and and it, it's so powerful, as it should be, but, you, but there's a cost to it, you know? The weight does slow you down a bit. Uh, so if you want to get that extra damage, you can, um, but, but there's a price to pay. I think that's fine. I think that's the way it should be, really. No, you don't. Oh, you dirty scoundrels. You scoundrels, I tell you what. Um, but anyway, long story short, I'm loving the game. The campaign. The campaign is actually awesome. I'm really enjoying the campaign. The HUD is really, really cool in all of the different abilities. And, and you can actually customize loadouts now. Uh, yeah, the campaign, I'm really enjoying. There's really little to be said about that. It's kind of over the top. I don't really understand the story. But that's what these campaigns are, you know. They're very, very much like action movies. Um, I don't get them personally. But I always play through them. I'm not, like, following the lore or anything like that. Uh, but I, I am playing through it. And it's really, really surprisingly, uh, like, very good. The story is probably the most simplistic to follow this time around. Um, but the multiplayer is really why I buy these games, as, as I'm sure most of you do. And if that's what you're looking for, uh, this will not let you down. It's outstanding, you guys. It really, really is something special. Uh, Treyarch just, you know, they've been waiting for their turn patiently. And here it is. Uh, and the, their development time has done them well because this game is excellent, man. Excellent game. Oh, are you on my team? You are. I'm sorry. I just fucked up so bad. I was responsive, you know? I was trying to be proactive. And look what happens. Oh, we lost by a point. Are you kidding me? Good God almighty. Um, here's the good news, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you're in the right place. Because we're going to have lots more Call of Duty. I'm thinking about bringing back FPS Friday. Not definite yet. I don't want to go ahead and say that just yet. Because I, I have a tendency to say I'm going to do shit. And then time just runs out. But I am thinking about it. Um... So if you enjoyed this, please, you know, look for more in the future. I'm thinking 90% chance FPS Friday's coming back. Let me know. Tweet at me. Uh, Twitter, at the beast underscore NJ. I was the top of my class, though, with 20 and 13, a 1.54 ratio. That's what I'm talking about. For those of you leaving us, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Twitter, you know it. Uh, for those of you staying, I'm going to go ahead and go through all the features right now. So... Thank you guys for watching if you're if you're dipping out if you're sticking around let's check out some of the new abilities and stuff like that that the game has brought us this time around uh this loading screen there we go just as i say it uh yeah see my k kdr is 0.84 i'm trying to get it up there my I'm all, my game's all over the place lately that was the best game i've had i think since i bought the game though um uh, so Let's go ahead and create a class first, first and foremost, right? There's not, no, not too many surprises here. We have unlock tokens, you can see at the top, to unlock different guns and abilities, etc. There are level caps. Can't unlock certain things until you get to certain levels, but there's you have your submachine guns, assault rifles, shotguns, LMGs, and snipers. All good stuff, right? The guns are really good. Like I said, the balance is great. Uh, you've got your secondary pistol launchers, special. I'm actually going to change this rocket launcher because I don't know why I have it. Give me that good stuff. Um, the cool thing is the personalization now. Go into paint. There's nothing there, but you can, you can actually customize your own custom paint for these guns and use them for a showcase. People can look at your different paint w painted weapons. Uh, it's just a, another way to exercise your creativity. All the camos are back, of course. What's cool is there's all these different cam camos for multiplayer, all different camos for campaign. Zombies mode unlocks you more. The black market, which I'll show you, unlocks even more. And then there's extras here. Oh, look at that. Look at this. That's pretty hot, actually. Cyborg. Give me that. That was from DLC, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think... Do I have more? Yeah. I'm trying to use that shit. I'm a big fan of that. Wait, 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 wait. Probably shouldn't be doing this. 
on the air, but it's happening, guys. I'm sorry. I hate this green one. I see a lot of people using it, and, and I hate it. It makes me want to die. Uh, so stop using it if you're using it, really. It's gross. I'm going to use that, actually. Fresh to death. Uh, now we have all of our grenades. Shock charge. Black hat. Don't have an, I, I actually don't know what black hat does. I haven't unlocked it yet, as you can see. And then the standard shock charge, flashbang, EMP stuff. Uh, for your lethal grenades, trip mines, combat axe is back. Thermite grenade, which is really cool. It actually sets the enemies on fire. It's fucking awesome. And then C4s in there. Perks, standard stuff. You know, there's a couple of new ones that I'll go over. This actually displays the direction which you guys saw that an enemy is coming towards, which I like a lot. I use that one. Uh, the tracker is the one that detects enemy footprints. And then... Um, I don't know what the other new one is. Not easy to hear. All the other ones are pretty standard, I think. Yeah, it's your standard perks if you ever play Call of Duty, you know. And then all the weapons attachments are the same. Uh, there's some funky reticles, but yeah, they're out there. Here's a specialist. This is the different abilities your specialist has. Each one has two. Let's go through them. I'm not going to go through each individual thing, but they all have one. It's usually uh, an offensive one and then a defensive one. So here's the ruin. Overdrive, he's got gravity spikes. There's usually this one's speed, this one's he drives spikes into the ground to create a shockwave. So that's what I mean when there's like a defensive and an offensive move. And then you're an outrider, which is what I was running. I was running thermal vision or vision pulse. And then there's a sparrow, which is bow and arrow. And then for the rest of them, they all have that. You get your profit, your battery, your serif, and I haven't unlocked the rest. But there are a total of, I think, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, actually, I think. Oh, wow. Did I count that right? Yeah, one of nine. Cool. Um, and then your score streaks, of course. There are a whole bunch of new things here. Um, the talent I like a lot. It's like a little mini drone that follows you. If you're familiar with Marvel Comics, it's like the Falcon's bird. Um, pretty awesome. like that a lot. Care package. You know, it's all, it's all standard stuff, but it's just done so well. And then, of course, we have the black market. No sudden movement. So when you level up or when you achieve certain uh, awards, you'll get these crypto, crypto keys. Excuse me. Ten unlocks a common drop. Rare unlocks a rare drop. You can get different things like calling cards, skins, things of that nature. Um, weapon, weapon camos. So that's the black market. You're going to use your crypto keys to unlock that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. And, and then there's all the other modes, you know. There's all different play modes. You get your arena play with your big team battles and stuff like that. And then there's all the classic modes are back. Um, campaign. Zombies I'm kind of disappointed with, but I haven't quite got the hang of it. And I'm still giving it a shot. I don't want to count it out just yet. But Black Ops 3. I love it. Play it. It's seriously awesome. Uh, great drop to drops great job to Treyarch. thank you so much for the excellent excellent care that you've given to your turn at bat here with the call of duty franchise love it looking forward to a whole year of playing it um if you guys love it if you guys love me subscribe to the channel right here i would really appreciate that hit that like button it really means a lot to me share this video with your friends that's how we get more people in here and get the channel growing uh so i'd really appreciate that as well Follow me on Twitter at the beast underscore NJ to check out when these videos go live, as well as when I go live on twitch.tv slash the beast NJ. That official Twitch schedule is coming soon, by the way. Um, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your games, and I'll see you next time.